Give me $10 million SaaS ideas. Have you done this before? I know you have. If you're watching my videos, I know you've done this search before, but guess what? It's gonna give you the same crap it gives everybody. You think the LLMs can actually understand problem solutions? No, they're just gonna give you the same thing that everybody's talked about, the millions of conversations it's had, and it's never ever gonna give you something substantial that you could actually build. I mean, look at some of these. SaaS for solopreneurs. Whoop de whoop. AI course builder. Genius. <laughs> I think you're getting my point. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new tool called Gummy Search that scrapes Reddit, every subreddit, every conversation, and you can actually use their AI system to find brilliant ideas, undiscovered ideas, ideas that are based on problems, agitation, pain, suffering, all that good stuff. Let's jump right into it. You guys can check it out. It's gummysearch.com. And right here on the left side, the first thing you'll see is you can actually build audiences. So then you go in and you can see I've already selected mine. I have fitness enthusiasts, mobile app, AI enthusiasts, vibe coding, no code, Rourke, software development, YouTube thumbnail maker, and you can make as many directors as you want. These are going to be your audiences. So if I go to new and if I search for something like um, app development, that's what we're into. Let's find all the communities around app development. And I'm going to show you how we're going to be able to go through and find actual nuggets in here. So for example, look at this one. Large community. There's 27,000 members. High activity. I click in here. I'm going to show you why this is different than just going through. You could not do this yourself. It would take you endless hours to try to do this just in one category. Developers, And right away, there's 10 themes. Hot discussions. Top content. Solution request advice request, self-promotion and ideas. And there's four more. If you click inside, now you get into this actual part where it breaks it all down using the AI inside of Gummy Search and look what it can do, solution requests. You could go in and have a conversation with all of the posts that are in here. So right here you can see service, mobile apps, software tools, and here are all the results. Every single conversation from all of the different thousands of conversations, if not 10,000 conversations, specific to your keywords. So developers, you could go in, you could click on patterns and see what the patterns are of 61 conversations with a click of a button. You couldn't even do this if you tried. So look, seeking app developers for niche markets, looking for developers with specific to technical skills, requests for developers in specific locations. So right there, is an idea for a fantastic directory. Developers by location in your city. Find a local developer directory.com. That is a great idea. Within seconds, we were able to find that. I don't even know that exists and so on and so on. But here's the best part. You can click on ask and now you can ask a question within the audience, within the conversation. So if I say something like no code and hit enter, it's gonna ask the question, it's gonna break down every single conversation and find any mention of no code inside these conversations. Just think about how powerful that is. We're using one tiny example, but let's say you're a local business, let's say you're an influencer, let's say you're building the next big hot thing, you can go in and literally have conversations with previous conversations to see what's in here. So look at this, looking for developer, looking for dev, looking for developer, app developer needed, and the full conversations. That is one tiny part of what this can do. My favorite one, of course, though, is pain and anger. If you click into pain and anger, this is where all the frustrations are, and this is where you find the diamonds in the rough. So let's get out of this whole no-code vibe coding, and let's go into something a little more fun, fitness. So if I wanted to build an app around fitness, I would come into this fitness sub-niche, subreddits. I've added 12 of them in here. I got gym, yoga, health, strength training, fitness, there's a bunch in here, motivation, workouts. Let's see if we can actually find something. Just to give you perspective on the size, 31 million people are inside of this group. That's one tenth of this country are inside my view right now that I could actually break down and look at. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go obviously into topics. Let's see what kind of topics people are talking about. Fitness journey, fat loss, back process, interesting, or back progress pull-ups, technique check, pull-ups, weightlifting. So a lot of stuff in here. And you could start looking, look at this one, anxiety. That's interesting. So if you click into anxiety, let's see what people are actually talking about when it comes to anxiety. You got yoga, you got workout, 
I would have never even known anxiety is a thing. So check this out. Anxiety in the context of fitness enthusiasts ref refers to feeling of unease, worry, and nervousness experienced before, during, or after engaging in physical activities. So what are the patterns? If I click on patterns, summarize 100 submissions, save 84 minutes reading 20,000 words. If you can even go through all of them, you're going to click find patterns and the AI inside gummy search is going to go through and just bang, lay it out for us. And here we are, gym anxiety, exercise induced anxiety, yoga and anxiety. This yoga and anxiety actually sounds pretty interesting, but let's just start with the, with the main one. Is David Lloyd worth it? I'm looking to join a gym local, but I have anxiety about using a gym. I'm 25, I've been oh, obese as long as I can remember. I see, okay, so maybe weight anxiety, that's one. Too anxious to try stuff because I don't know how to work out overcame my anxiety today. This is an incredible sub sub niche that I never even knew existed. And we found it within seconds. So right there, now we have a starting point. So let's play with this idea a little bit. Now we can go into ChatGPT and say, I uncovered a sub niche of fitness anxiety associated with obesity, going to the gym, not knowing how to work out, not knowing what to do, when to do it. There's a lot of anxiety around fitness that I had no idea, period. I want you to act as my brilliant marketing and idea guy and come up with five really good app ideas and platforms that we could build for this sub niche. Now we're cooking, okay? So check this out. Fitness anxiety is one of the least talked about but most universal barriers to health. People are more scared of looking dumb than of staying unhealthy, which is absurd. I agree. This is really crazy. So here you go. Step-by-step -step gym companion, an app that works like Google Maps, but for the gym. User picks their goal, strength, weight loss, endurance. The app creates a session map. Go to treadmill, walk for five minutes. Next dumbbell, do this exercise. Here's a video so you don't screw this up. Augmented reality mode. Hold out your phone to see what machine does what. That's really good. Private virtual gym coach a VR AI hybrid, that's a little too complex. Here we go. Fitness Anxiety Social Club, a community but with rules, zero flexing, zero toxic fitness bros. Damn, this is a really good idea actually. Look, people share struggles, not six packs, built in accountability buddy. Next one, decision free workout generator, an app for people paralyzed by choice, one button, workout now. So freaking simple. The app instantly generates a 15 to 30 minute workout you could do with whatever equipment you have or none. Tracks progress, anonymous gym AI, voice activated AI coach with zero embarrassment, whispers into your AirPod, what's this machine, what should I do? This is absolutely brilliant and I might actually build one of these projects because this is a really good one and I had no idea this even existed. But the thing is, you could even dig deeper and go in much, much deeper. So next what I wanna show you is how you could go in. Um, let's do. Let's just do another one. Just let's just have fun with it. So let's do cooking. I love a good meal. Let's see what kind of cooking solutions we can find. So here we go. Let's add. And right here, if you go right there, you could see over here. It shows you the actual Reddit if you want. And then you just select cooking for beginners. Actually, you know what? Let's start with beginners. I think that's actually a really good one. So let's go. And how many people are in that one? Two million members. Perfect. So now it's going to go through. It's going to give us cooking. Cooking for beginners. We got hot topics. I want to go for pain and anger. That's where I want to go. Like I always want to start with the frustration, the disappointment. People are frustrated. That means people want solutions. That's how I like to build our products inside AI Builders where we're not just talking about, oh, I have this fun idea. It's like, are people actually going to give you money for these ideas? That's where I always start. Rice. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, tried to cook rice and totally burned it because I was watching a podcast. Okay, that's not a real problem, but... All right, so frustration. Yo, this is too good. Look at the first thing that pops up. Cooking for one without wasting food is harder than I thought. That's a genius idea for an app. Cook for one. Cook one or one cook. One cook, actually, with the one could actually be really good. And then all it is is an AR-enabled... You scan your fridge... And then it gives you the exact amounts based on your details that you want. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to have these carbs and these proteins. And then it gives you the exact ingredients and the exact recipe to build a meal for one. 
not for a family. You can even do one or two, but that is such a big pain point. I hate cooking for one because it's just so hard with the small portioning. Plus it just takes so much freaking time. So there has to be a better way. So cooking for one, let's see what uh, chat GPT comes up for this. Plus a shopping guide for this would be fantastic. All right, back to chat GPT and let's do this new chat. And I'm just going to say, give me five app ideas for this problem. I'm going to paste that whole conversation in there. Let's see what it comes up with. You stumbled into the eternal struggle of solo living. Cabbage guilt. Here are five app ideas that could make this actually work. Ingredients roulette. Snap a pick, pick, pick of your fridge or type in what you have. The app turns it into a daily roulette wheel that spins up recipes. And then there's the best part. Ranked by how many days each ingredient has left before going bad. So it gamifies your whole guilt of saving stuff. Pantry. Smart pantry pal. App that tracks your groceries scans them and says, hey, this jar of pesto will die in three days. <laughs> That's actually really fun. Protect your, protect your food. The leftover linker, you put in one problem ingredient like cabbage and the app chains recipes together so it uses it up across three meals that week because cabbage can last up to a week. That's a really funny example. Slaw, stir fry, and cabbage soup like Tetris but for vegetables. Such a good idea. No way in hell would ChatGPT be able to give you this right here. You couldn't even ask for this because it's based on actual pain coming from real conversations inside of Reddit and the deep, deep darkness of the subreddits of where people are actually complaining about stuff. And this can go for endless. I mean, you start going through and looking through at seasoning, Old Bay, Every single thing that's ever been said on Reddit is inside of here, scraped, and you can actually find your next big idea. Whether you want to build it, whether you want to do something B2B, you can go in and start searching law firms. Let's try that now. I just want to keep playing with this. So let's go audience to search. Let's go lawyers. It's just so fun to do this. Now you have everything when it comes to law firm inside of the actual search itself, and then you can find patterns, you can find a sentiment. So let's go to sentiment, run the report. I hope this comes up with an idea on how I could save money on my lawyer. That would be fantastic. Bang, and here are the results. And look already, we already have another great idea. First thing, overbilling concerns. We know this is a massive issue. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a solution. Maybe it has something to do with an invoice that you scan with your phone and then it gives you all of the details <clears throat> and it tracks it with their internal system that tracks their hours. This doesn't exist in the marketplace. Again, I'm just spitballing here just to kind of show you how the creative juices start going once you actually start looking through here and realize there is endless ideas. You could sort by upvotes, you could sort by newest, most comments, let's go to by mo most comments. Everyone should just get a prenup before they get married. There's gotta be an idea here. So let's see, comments. Actually, just that idea right there, prenup. People don't know what that even means and how to do it. What is the process of doing this? What if there was an app where you can go in and then answer all the hard questions that a lawyer would do? You share that with your partner. They agree, they don't agree. And then boom, you have an official document that you can give to a lawyer. And then it charges you the minimum that it would cost to do versus having him go through the whole process. There's another really great idea. I think you guys are seeing the power of this and it's endless. You can also just have conversations. So if you go in, put in a keyword, you could just have the conversation with the whole thread as I kind of did in the other way, but you could do it directly. And then also you have your AI reports that you can pull for any niche. So if you guys are looking for that next big idea, if you want to know code vibe code it, definitely come to, you know, come hang out with us. That's what we do. But this is the tool that we use internally. This is what everybody does. This is why I always tell people go where the people are talking. I don't care about your idea. Honestly, it's so hard to come up with fresh ideas, but it's so easy to sift through now of other people's pain and suffering and fear and anxiety and find those little golden nuggets. But here's the other part. Don't, don't think about this is now you have the idea. You could go back into those subreddits and start having conversations with those people to even, you know, iterate on your idea and validate your idea even more. Go to other Facebook groups, go to different places, ask your peers and, and your colleagues, and then you can actually start building a really, really strong idea. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys do want to come hang out with us, we have a fantastic school community called the AI Builders. All the links are below. And of course, you got to go check out Gum Search. You guys go check it out. All the links are below also. And if you do try it, buys me a cup of coffee. I'm always super grateful. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Go find that next big idea and let me know in the comment section what you guys cook up. Because again, ideas come dime a dozen, but you got to actually implement it. So get out there and build it. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.